Sobrang sarap. Come to Papa! How's the taste? Hey guys! It's me, Kuya Milton. Kamusta salat? And today we are going to be making the best jambalaya recipe in the world. I guarantee it, trust me. If you didn't know, I've been living in Louisiana for a few years now because of my work. And I absolutely love the food. Louisiana is famous for crawfish, oysters, gumbo, and one of my absolute favorites is jambalaya. But here's the thing. I have yet to try any jambalaya that's better than mine. Oh! I don't care what you say, I've had them so many times. Every time we go out to a nice restaurant, I ask for the jambalaya to see if they can beat me, but they don't. Damn! But you're in luck because today I'm gonna show you exactly how I make it and I can assure you it's gonna be the best jambalaya you ever tasted. But before we begin, if you could please hit that like and subscribe button, it would really help me out. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you need for a great jambalaya is a Louisiana sausage. So we got that right here. And Dewey sausage, this is the type you need. Don't get the calabasa, the Italian sausage. You need a smoked and Dewey sausage. We're just gonna cut these up. Now it's time for our vegetables. So with jambalaya, usually we just think of the sausage and the shrimp, but there's also a lot of vegetables that go into it. And that's what gives it that distinct and delicious flavor. So the first thing we're gonna use is green pepper. Do not use any other pepper, it has to be green. Now we're gonna take some celery. Onion. So in Italian cooking, the trinity is referred to as carrots, onions, and celery. But in Louisiana, this is the Louisiana trinity. Green bell peppers, onion, and celery. And lastly, garlic. So these are the main ingredients that's going in the jambalaya. We got our meat right here, shrimp, peel, our andouille sausage, and our vegetables. Now, this looks like there are way too many vegetables, but this is where we get that flavor. So don't worry, it may seem like a lot, but it's gonna be great, just trust me. Okay guys, it's time to cook. And great thing about jambalaya, we're only gonna be using one pot. Now we're gonna get about two tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna add a little oil so the butter doesn't burn. Now we can add our sausage. Hey guys, so for some reason my camera didn't record this, but after about two minutes of cooking the sausage, we are going to add our spices and fry these spices. And this will bring an extra layer of flavoring. So we're gonna add paprika, pepper, and cumin powder. And garlic powder. And cayenne pepper. Don't be afraid of that spice. We're also gonna add Tony seasoning. This is a famous Louisiana seasoning that they always use for Cajun and Creole dishes. And make sure you go heavy on the seasoning. Okay, you're gonna get to a point where you see all the seasoning, maybe some of the sausage is stuck to the bottom. That's okay, that's when you know to add your vegetables. And you'll see when we add the vegetables and start to cook, it's gonna remove all of this good stuff at the bottom. Let's add our vegetables. All except the garlic. Let's mix. Oh yeah. As the vegetable starts to cook, it's gonna release the water to clean up the bottom part of your pot. So it's only been a few minutes, but look at that. It's starting to remove. See, I told you it'd come off, told you. It's coming off, that's the great flavor right there. Let's cook it a little more. So check that out, look, it's clean. I told you, perfectly clean. All right, when it gets clean, I mean, it's good to go and you're, you're ready to add your garlic. Once you add your garlic, you're just gonna let this cook for just one minute. Oh wow, it smells good. Now we're gonna add our liquid. And then tomato sauce. Normally people add full tomatoes, but I feel this gives a better flavor. We're also gonna add a bay leaf. Time to add a bay leaf. Boom. We gotta bring this to a boil and make sure the bouillon cubes have dissolved. Okay, it's boiling right now. And we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes. That way it's gonna be like a soup, right? The more you cook, the more flavor that's gonna come out of the ingredients. Okay guys, it's been cooking for five minutes. Now, before we add our rice, this is a perfect chance to taste it. 
Now take a look at this. Really dark, that means it's full of flavor, full of spices. Mm, very good. Time to add our rice. My favorite rice to use is jasmine rice, but you can use any that you want. Stir that a little bit. When it gets to a simmer, you're gonna put it to low and cover. And then we'll let that cook for about 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it. When we first put the rice in, all the rice grains were at the bottom, but now it's kind of absorbed some of that water. So if we mix it, all the meat rice is gonna be everywhere. Mm. We'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay guys, it's been about 10 minutes and you may have been wondering what happened to the shrimp? Well, I haven't forgot it. We're gonna cook it by just putting it into the jambalaya and just that heat is going to be enough to cook it and preventing from overcooking that's terrible right when you have overcooked shrimp i'm going to add it straight in just mix make sure you're covering them all flatten it cover and then we'll come back in another 10 minutes and we should be ready to eat okay guys it's been about 10 minutes we're just going to turn off the heat we're just gonna let this cool down and we'll be ready to eat. Okay guys, let's see how it looks. Look at that. It absorbed all the juices. Perfect, wow. Perfectly cooked shrimp. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go guys. Grab a spoonful and put it directly on the plate. And there you have it, the ultimate jambalaya. I'm telling you, really, this is the best jambalaya you're ever gonna eat. I think it looks amazing. Look at those shrimp, perfectly cooked. We got the sausage over there, all those vegetables, even those extra flavors. Looks amazing to me, but it doesn't really matter how the look is though, right? What matters is, how's the taste? All right, all right, wait. Today, instead of me trying it first, we're gonna go to the jambalaya eating expert, oh, my yeah. wife, my son. Here we go, look at that yes. jambalaya, that beautiful jambalaya and my beautiful wife. Oh, it's so good, I'm so uh, excited yeah? to try that? it again. <laughs> this is one of my favorites that my husband makes. This is yes. one of my favorite. I'm so excited. Oh, it smells so good. really good. Mm. The shrimp perfectly cooked. It's not overcooked. It's really soft. The sausage is really, really tasty. I really love how it tastes because every time we go out and we eat in a restaurant and we order jambalaya, it doesn't taste so good. Like it's not so flavorful unlike this. It's really saucy, like a lot of flavor going on in your mouth. Like it's really, really good. Mm. <laughs> okay, my wife making my mouth water. I'm gonna try some of that sausage and rice. Wow, it smells so good. Mm. You do not want to skip out on the spices. That's the star of the show. Put as much spices as you can handle because Louisiana food, Southern food, it's all about the spice and this is really good and that's what makes this dish shine. You get that smoky flavor from the andouille sausage, really good. Let's try that shrimp. Mmm, really soft, perfect. Let's try it all together. Mmm, so grung sera. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below for whatever recipe you'd like to see me do next. And also check us out on our social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you name it. I really enjoy this recipe. I really love Louisiana food for my time living here. And this is just my version, but I can guarantee it's gonna be the best you ever had. Anyway guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.